Okay, YouTube, got a couple of packages in today, and this is a project I will be working on for a customer. So let's go ahead and dive on in and take a look at what we got. So, first package, we have got a Game Boy. Now, I ordered this off of eBay. Uh, it was listed for parts not working. Got a pretty bad uh, screen cover on it. It does have um, the battery cover and the battery contacts look to be in really good shape. Now the reason this was listed for parts not working is let's see if I can get some batteries here. And I will show you why. It was listed for parts. Now this will be a fairly reasonable fix. It will be a little bit time consuming, but it can be fixed. So let's go ahead and throw these batteries in. And I will show you why. Okay, we have got a lot of missing pixels here. A lot. But missing pixels vertically uh, is an, a fairly reasonable fix. Um, so we will get that taken care of. And then I've got a, another package here from Handheld Gaming. And once I fix the bad pixels on the LCD screen, this is what we are going to be focusing on next. So, got their card, got their sticker, got a bag here of uh, brand new blue buttons. So we've got the power switch, AB button, and uh, the directional pad and also in here I just now saw that so we got I don't know if you can see this here but this is a brand new blue LED and fuse right here so we'll be switching out the red LED on the battery indicator and replacing it with a blue one and then we've got a blue glass screen very nice and some polarizer film and the Bivert chip, the backlight, and finally we've got an all brand new see-through blue Game Boy shell. Let's see if I can get into this and I'll show you what we're going to be working with here. All right, so the, the shells do come with a standard plastic um, screen cover. We're not going to be using that, so I'll hold on to that for parts later on. It does come with standard buttons, but we're not going to be using these either. These are nice. These are black. Heck yeah, all black brand new buttons. We'll hold on to those for a later project. And then we've got screws and I don't really recommend using uh, these aftermarket screws. Always if you can try to use your OEM screws. And then we've got the uh, the cable link um, cover here. So as you can see, it's got the shield already in place. And wow, it is broken. 
So I just opened this and as you can see right there, a big crack right down the shell. Wow. That is not going to be good at all. So I'm going to have to contact Handheld Legend and let them know that the shell came and arrived cracked. But yeah, that's not going that's not good. That's not good at all. Okay, so I've gone ahead and taken apart the Game Boy. We got the screen here. And if you are not familiar with how to do this, you can check out my last video where I did a refurb and mod on my childhood Game Boy. So check out that video if you haven't seen it. Also, if you're new to the channel, go ahead and hit that subscribe button and the bell icon so you receive notifications every single time I upload new content. Okay, so what we need to do is fix the vertical lines that are on that screen and we'll need the back shell here and I have already removed the damaged uh, screen protector here and as you can see there's a lot of adhesive left over but we can get that taken off fairly easily um, it's a good thing that when they sent that shell even though it is damaged and I've already contacted them they're going to send me another one um, that they sent another uh, standard plastic um, screen protector. That way I can get this shell cleaned up and I'll be able to reuse that for just a standard build. Um, but we're going to set that aside. And what we need to focus on, I already removed the, uh, the membranes here and the buttons. These buttons are going to need to be cleaned looks like whatever's on them will be able to be scraped off I'm just run, running my fingernail over it and you can see um, it's starting to come off there so those should be able to be cleaned up fairly easily and then we've got the directional pad here but what we need to focus on are those vertical lines and in order to do this you're going to need to get your screen separate from the shell and we'll we'll need to plug this back in sorry if I bump the camera it's right next to me and I'm going to plug this screen back into the board here so that we can power it on and then I'll show you how to fix it now this will be a little bit time-consuming there are a lot of uh, pixels missing what we do need to remove is this black rubber piece right here that sits directly underneath the screen. So just grab yourself a pair of tweezers and peel that up. Set that to the side and there should be a piece of adhesive underneath that. You'll want to remove that as well. Okay, that's got to be the most stubborn adhesive strip I've ever dealt with. But we got it. That adhesive strip just lays right here. You, you've got to take that off. So, the next step is to throw some batteries in so that we can look at our screen as we run our soldering iron over it all right and this is what we're looking at here so in order to fix this see if I can zoom in here what you're going to want to do is turn your soldering iron on and you're just going to lightly go over the strip right here until those pixels start to come back. And this could take quite a while. But the whole screen here needs to be black. You're going to turn your contrast all the way down so that you can see all black. And you're just going to start to go back and forth until you bring all the pixels back. Okay, so I worked it for about a good 30 minutes and we were able to bring back all of those dead pixels. 
as you can see it's a completely black screen and when I change the contrast there's the bar right there so fantastic now I'm gonna let this set and let all of that solder set before I take the screen out to put the backlight in um, but what we can work on is the LED so in order to change the LED it's really quite simple here's the LED right here and just directly on the back of the board you've got two soldering pads right here we're going to run some flux over those and some some flux ribbon to or some uh, solder ribbon to remove the solder we'll replace the LED we'll set the new LED inside we will re-solder those two points and then this is the fuse that needs to be replaced so we'll remove this fuse and it's held on with not these two points but the one closest to this hole over here and the middle one so we will get that replaced okay so we've got the new LED installed right here and I went ahead and installed the the new fuse here and I need to go back over that solder it's a little rough but let's get this plugged in also um, I went ahead and installed the bivert chip and if you're not familiar with how to do this check out my last video on uh, refurbishing and modding my childhood Game Boy I go over all the steps on how to do that it's fairly simple it does take um, a little bit of precision but it's fairly simple so we will go ahead and plug in the LCD here and I'll show you what the bivert chip does um, on a non backlit uh, screen now this will look totally different once we get it backlit and when we reverse the um, polarizing film but we will go ahead and turn that on and as you can see that is blue fantastic all right so what that bivert chip does is normally this bar is black and everything around it is um, kind of this color right here kind of greened out uh, but when you install the bivert chip it turns all the pixels that are on off and all of the pixels that are off on so you can see it pretty much just reverses uh, the image and then when you um, install the polarizing film to where it's dark you get a much much uh, crisper and brighter uh, more in-depth uh, contrast so all right, the next step is going to be to backlight the screen and then this Game Boy will be done as soon as I can get that new shell in. Um, but I will go ahead and put it in that shell just to show you what it's going to look like. Okay, so I got the backlight installed and the new blue shell, blue buttons, all that jazz. And so now it's time for the final reveal. there she is folks we'll go ahead and cut her on and she's looking great there you have it folks fixing eBay junk took a broken Game Boy bad pixels, horrible looking shell,
bad buttons and turned it into a beauty. If you've enjoyed this content, by all means, go ahead and leave that thumbs up. If you have not subscribed, go ahead and hit that subscribe button while you're at it. Hit the bell icon so you receive all notifications. Hope you're having a fantastic week. I know I am. I'm Tata Collector, and have a good one.